Oh yeah, another episode of the Tech Preacher Podcast, baby. This your boy Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. You know what? I'm making a change. And listen, man, I'm doing some announcements today, right? Man, shout out to everybody that support the call, support this and support that. But you know what? This podcast, we go. I'm going to talk about some huge announcements that I'm doing. You know, some things might affect some people. Some of these announce- announcements may not affect some people at all. But I feel that some of these changes has to happen. You know, let's talk about it. Listen, shout out to everybody that's listening to the audio version of this on Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, and, and Android Podcasts, and all anywhere where you listen to this podcast. I want to say thank you. Let's talk about some perspectives here, right? Uh, my podcast, audio podcast on Spotify and other uh, podcast channels, has grew significantly. Right, it has been very good. Um, and I really appreciate that people listening to the unscripted style of me, of the tech preacher, right? Y'all guys listening to a lot of people that listen to me on podcasts doesn't, uh, you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel. They just love listening to podcasts. And so thank y'all guys very much for having me in your vehicle, or having me in your ears, listening to me ramble off for a very long time. When I started this podcast, I, I, I was committed to doing a lot of things, right? I committed to giving y'all guys weekly unscripted of me just rambling off, talking about my thoughts. And a lot of people want to hear that, you know? And so for over 40 weeks, 40 podcasts, right? I'm in my second season of the podcast, right? The Tech Preacher Podcast. I'm making some changes. Listen, man, sometimes you have to think about how could you streamline your product? You got to think about how could it make it a little more easier for you? How, it, and so for me, it's been very difficult trying to run two YouTube channels. Now, f- for listening to the audio version of these podcasts, it's fine. That, that wouldn't change. But I have to make some changes with the video portion of these podcasts. As of right now, I've been posting the podcast on the Tech Preacher Podcast channel and it's just not happening for me. It's just, it's no growth involved. And I'm finding myself beating myself up knowing that the 100% of my core audience is my main channel. My main YouTube channel uh, that, you know, has, you know, 60 plus thousand subscribers it's my main supporters all my members and all my family is on the main youtube channel what i thought was having a secondary channel to give my thoughts about tech tech you know uh tech lifestyles and services will be a a way for new audiences to come aboard to find me but maybe I, I was wrong at that aspect, right? Listen, man, I, as of me being on YouTube for so long, I still don't have all the answers. I'm still trying to figure out some things. I'm still trying to make d- differences and changes with me. As y'all guys know, I'm active in the YouTube community seven days a week with my weekly live stream with the wired ones on Wednesdays and me doing this podcast on Thursdays and, and me doing, you know, regular videos every other day. So I am very active on YouTube, but trying to manage two YouTube channels. Uh, it's, it's, it's rough. So one of my announcements is that I'm quitting this channel. This channel right here, the Tech Preacher Podcast channel, right? And I am moving all my podcasts to my main channel. Listen, YouTube is making some differences and some changes with the YouTube, right? Uh, They are bringing in features like podcasts and, you know, shorts and, and all kinds of different things. So you can run one channel and have separate entities on that one channel. 
instead of trying to manage two YouTube channels, manage one YouTube channel as, as good and as efficient. And this is where your core audience is. This is what I need to do. So this is going to be the last episode of the tech preacher podcast on the tech preacher YouTube channel. Now I will post weekly, uh, tech preacher podcast, uh, videos, and, uh, I will still do the Spotify and audio version of this podcast every week. But instead of being on this dedicated channel, I'm moving my new upcoming, uh, podcast to my main channel. Now, listen, it's not a live, right? Uh, this is all pre-recorded. Uh, and uh, I, I, I believe that's going to be best. My core audience is on my main channel. And so, you know, trying to grow this podcast channel, it just doesn't work. Because uh, I have, and I read my comments and I, I read a lot of stuff that I see. My core audience coming to this channel, I think is a little unfair. So, so I'm trying to make... The, my same audience that I have on my main channel to try to convert them to subscribe to a new channel when they, you know, most people that subscribe to my channel is probably subscribe to, uh, you know, a bunch of other channels also. Listen, I'm trying to make things easier for pe people to listen to me and to find me, to watch my video, to support the cause that I'm uh, presenting. And it's difficult when you make it harder for the individual to find you, Right. And so for me, I look at it's time for me to make a change on doing what I do here. Uh, so that is a announcement that I've been thinking about for, for a couple of weeks. Listen, over 40 plus weeks, I think I'm at, uh, at my 43rd podcast, 43 weeks. I mean, I missed one week. So 44, 45 weeks. I've been dedicated to giving you guys podcasts every week, but I think if I were to focus and have 40 some podcasts on my main channel, I think a lot of people would appreciate that because a lot of people do want to hear the raw unedited unscripted. There's my thoughts about uh, you know, tech services and, and tech devices and everything else in between. You think about this, right? I talk about tech a lot on this podcast, right? And I have a dedicated YouTube channel for tech. So I'm just basically doing the same thing, but separating it on two channels, which is not making any sense to me. So yes, I'm quitting this channel. Now the podcast that's on this channel right now, it's going to stay here for archive reasons, right? If you want to go back and look at older content, this, uh, this YouTube channel will have that. But on my main channel, starting next week, not this week, but this next rip around, uh, it will be on my main channel. Same place, same time. Well, different place, same time. Now, as far as the audio version of this podcast, nothing's going to change. It will still be available on Spotify. And all your, uh, you know, podcast venues will still, my channel will still be there. And you will hear all the podcasts like nothing happened. So if you are a person that subscribed to the, uh, you know, the dedicated audio versions of these podcasts, nothing will change. Everything will stay the same. So that's one huge announcement that I had to make. And listen, you know, a lot of people say, well, man, that's kind of inevitable, right? I mean, that, that makes sense to take. You know, a channel that you already have established, already have a foundation of people, supporters. Why not just do your podcast over there? I just, you know, listen, again, I'm, I'm still making changes and being new to this game. I think I'm still kind of new to this game. So that, that's what I'm doing. That's one huge announcement. Uh, and I think it's huge for me. I mean, listen, I think this is huge for me that I have to talk about this. Because I want people that's dedicated to listening to these podcasts. I want y'all guys to know that, listen, the, the tech preacher ain't going nowhere. I just want to fill in a blank. I just want my audience, my core audience to, to, to listen to me, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, go from there. Um, 
And I think that's going to be something spectacular that the people that watch me every week, you get that dose of freshness, a dose of my thoughts, a dose of something that, oh, man, it's refreshing to hear from a person that, you know, that does tech every day, all day. So that's one of the changes that I'm making. Now, the second change that I'm making is that, listen, man, for a long time, I thought that, um, you know, on this YouTube channel that I make videos, you know, for the average consumer. And uh, I've been wrong for years, man. Listen, I've been I, I've been wrong. I, I've been wrong and I'm admitting that I've been wrong. And y'all might say, what you talking about, Easy? My thought process was to make videos for the average consumer. And, and, and so one of the thoughts were like, okay, well, what's, what's the difference between the average consumer and everybody else? It's a fundamental difference between tech enthusiasts and, and, and average consumers. I, I thought my thought, my thought process was all about the average consumer, but it's not. My YouTube channel is 99.9% .9 focused on tech enthusiasts. When I make videos and I talk about specs, I talk about manual mode, Samsung decks, ready for all kinds of different things, technical analysis and stuff like that. Listen, man, the average consumer ain't don't care about all that stuff, man. Listen, man, when we talk about devices that cost almost $2,000, when we talk about devices that's over the $1,000 price range, those devices to me, it's not for the average consumer. Listen, man, uh, you know, when we talk about get the best bang for your buck, right? The best bang for your buck is a device that for the average consumer is a device that they can make phone calls. They can text. They could go on social media, take photos, and watch movies and YouTube videos on their device. That's a, a large percentage of the average consumer, right? If you ever walk up to an average consumer, and I've done this, right? Me being in the business realm, I've done this. I walked up to people and I said, hey, would you spend $1,500 on a smartphone? And, and, and when you, when you, you, you look at them and they, they facial features cringe when you ask them that question in the 99.9% .9 of them will tell you, hell no, I wouldn't spend 1400 a phone, right? Listen, I remember talking to my Oracle a long time ago before I got deep into this tech stuff, right? And when we was talking about phones with $700 and $800, she's like, well, easy. It's just a phone. It's a phone. Average consumers look at it that it's a phone. I mean, listen, it's, again, it's a fundamental difference between a tech enthusiast and an average consumer. Tech enthusiasts want to know the specs. They want the latest and greatest 8 Gen 2 processor with 12 and 16 gigs of RAM. They want, you know, out of the box stuff like manual mode, raw video, raw photos, and all that stuff like that, because they're gonna put that in a, a video editing software. They're gonna make changes. They're gonna add color to it. They're gonna do 8K video. They're gonna uh, do enhancements. They want log support so they can put it in a uh, video editing software so they can add color to it. Put Luxel and all kinds of things on that. That don't sound like an average consumer to me. That the, listen, you do you ever see an average consumer that will take their device, turn it in landscape mode, put it on a gimbal, and put it in log, right? 4K log, and go ride, uh, you know, do cinematic footage, and then take that footage and put it in Adobe Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro, adding color and lux and, and uh, doing all kinds of editing and stuff like that? No, they don't do that. That's filmmakers and, and tech enthusiasts do stuff like that. So it's been a fundamental difference that I've been preaching about. I, I make videos for the average consumer and that's totally incorrect. When I talk about Samsung decks, that's for the tech enthusiasts. It's not for the average consumer. Listen, if you, you talk about, and then I make videos that say, Hey, listen, the device you got in your pocket does more. The device in your pocket can do all kinds of things. You got S pen support. You got, if you're on the Samsung side, you could do all kinds of things, right? 
And people look at that like, okay, but I, I mean, does it make phone calls? That's it. But but the tech enthusiasts, they excited about it. They love it. They, they want to know more about their devices. So my focus was on the tech enthusiasts, but my mindset was making videos towards the average consumer. And I was totally wrong. Listen, I want to give a huge shout out to Juan back now. I'm going to tell you, he has educated me, right? Or the difference between the average consumer versus a tech enthusiast. I think for me, it's a learning curve. I think for me, I, I, I've learned the difference between the people that watch my content versus the people that don't. I'm going to give you another story. Right? Uh, my parents, you know, they say, well, you know, easy. Man, I, I, listen, I, I, I turn on your video. Right. And, and the stuff you're talking about goes over my head. I have no clue what you're talking about. And I mean, it, it, it's I, I, I can't understand nothing you saying, son. My mom, like she said, I don't understand nothing you say. I mean, you talk about, you know, your eight gen processors and 16. What is all that stuff? You talk about 120 hertz displays and, and deep blacks and IPS versus envelope displays and, and screen size and, 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 and chip sets and uh, expert raw and, and all. Man, what that, you done. Can't watch it. They didn't have no clue what I'm saying. And that's understandable because people that's average, right? Average consumers, they're looking at, the, does the phone make phone calls? Can I text? Can I go on social media? Can I take a photo? Can I take a video? That's it, man. That's 99% of what the average consumer looking for. The beauty of the device, they go throw a case on it, out of box case on it, you know, stuff like that. That's it, man. Listen, I think we've been doing this. Listen, maybe I'm wrong when I'm talking about this. Maybe the average consumer is watching my channel. And they might be learning to be a tech enthusiast. Are they just interested in the, the technology that we have today? But nine times out of 10, tech enthusiast is the one that's watching our channels. You know, when you talk about things like, you know, and I, I made a computer video and I went through benchmark tests, scores, uh, talked about, you know, heating and, and everything else, performance and stuff like that. You know, again, I, I, you know, people, you know, average consumer, that goes over their head. Benchmark tests, scores, GPUs, dedicated GPU versus Intel Iris graphics. What the hell are you saying? It, 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 so you have to think about that, right? Think about that, right? I mean, I, I, mean, I made a video about a computer and I'm talking about benchmark scores. Iris graphics don't have, uh, you know, DDR4 RAM. You know, uh, SSDs and <laughs> it, it, that type of stuff, man. Listen, that terminology is not for the average consumer. It's for the tech enthusiast that's deep into what we discuss. And so that's my second announcement. My second announcement is my thought process talking about average consumers and talking about my channel is for the average consumer talking about all kinds of different things like that talking about that the do's and don'ts as an average consumer towards that listen i would love for the average consumer to watch my video so they can educate themselves on the 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 craziness that these companies is trying to pull on the consumer so listen i do make videos with, uh, you know, pocket friendly devices that cost, you know, cheap because listen, average consumers looking at and I, I hit it all the time. A person won't spend a thousand dollars for a phone, but they'll spend two hundred dollars on a smartphone because you know what? It's a smartphone for Christ's sakes. Right. It doesn't make phone calls. Does it text? Does it make take good video? Listen, I think us tech enthusiasts, we get this all mixed up that the average consumer cares about raw video the average consumer don't care about raw video they don't care about you know all samsung decks and ready for and stuff like that listen but it's okay for them to if they want to learn 
about this type of stuff. It's okay that if they want to learn this type of stuff, this is what we're here for. So when I talk about my focus towards the average, uh, towards tech enthusiasts, my focus still is on the average consumer because I want to educate them. But my mindset, and I know my core audience is tech enthusiasts. And that's some things that I got to change. And that's something that I am changing. And that's something that, uh, you know, we discuss on our Wednesday streams. We discuss on, you know, uh, on, on this podcast. I talk about a lot of technical analysis about things. Uh, and listen, I do want to educate the average consumer to understand this is what's going on in the industry. This is where, you know, you could get a lot of bang for your buck if you buy certain devices. If you don't want certain features, that's fine. They got pocket friendly devices that cost cheap that would give you outstanding performance, great cameras, great battery life, and you don't have to break the bank. Now, a lot of people will argue that, you know, they, you know, people goes to their carriers and lease devices or get payment plans. Not all over the world they have that option. Here in the United States, listen, I think we we got it easy in the United States that an individual can go into AT and T, T Mobile, Verizon Wireless, and get a fifteen hundred dollar phone with a little money down and put it on payment plans for three and a half years. So, you know, you do have a lot of people that get bought into that as far as the carriers and the carriers love that because they got you locked in on uh, multiple devices, multiple payment plans, multiple services. They got you locked in. But all over the world, outside of the United States, people don't have that luxury. And I know a lot of people, I hear a lot of people make comments and I hate, I get DMs from people say, hey, listen, y'all guys in the United States got it easy. Y'all guys in the United States can can put $2,000 devices on a payment plan, you know, and y'all can ride, ride, you know, two years or three years. Well, most of the care is now, it's about three years. So you can ride a device for three years making, you know, payments every month. Some people overseas, they have to pay for devices up front. And not only that, but the cost is different. It's offset. That means in the United States, we may get a cheaper price, but overseas, maybe in Canada, the UK and other parts of the world, they have to pay higher premium prices and they don't get payment plans. Some of them have to pay for devices up front. So they do look for pocket friendly devices. I do get a lot of uh, you know, comments and emails about, you know, we can't, uh, you know, I, uh, or those individuals say they can't afford, you know, spending tons of money on devices. So we advocate devices like Pixel 6A's, you know, the, the Galaxy A lineup. Uh, we, we, I make videos about, you know, uh, Unihertz devices and, 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 and uh, all these other small smartphones that has 299 price point, 399 price point that you could go on Amazon or eBay or AliExpress or different genres of companies and get these type of devices, right? For a really cheap price. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, the, the, the device, the tech that you buy, you, ha you have to be comfortable with it. Sometimes a lot of people say, man, listen, I don't be worried about these high end. Listen, I, I don't worry about high end cameras because I got a professional camera. You know, I think we as content creators have to think outside the box. We, we, we look at our community, United States. If I look at my analytics, my analytics has a... Uh, it, it tells me my audience, whether they're the UK or India or, you know, different parts of the world. I have a large percentage of viewership that's in different countries. So even though I'm a United States tech reviewer, when I make videos about, you know, uh, Unihertz and, and all these other different companies, stuff like that. The over, my overseas community, they love that content because they have access to that to those devices. In the United States, you know, it's a different mindset. You know, people try to be big ballers and all that stuff like that. Man, hey, listen, you can lie to me, but you can't lie to your bank account. But they got a lot of people who try to be big ballers, and that's here and there. If you got your if you got your money, the hell of your business. 
But a lot of people is smart. Listen, smart is good. You think about it. In the tech industry, you got multiple devices comes out every year. You have every year. You listen, you can't keep up with the the plethora of devices that comes out every year. You can't keep up with it, right? And you sure can't spend all your money on these devices because guess what? 12 months later, it's going to be a whole new batch of devices come out. 12 months later, going to be a new batch of devices come out. So it's a endless list of devices that will come out every year. And you know what? Me here, as I'm learning, you know, myself and learning my audience a little better. And, uh, you know, I, I've listened to my community. I have a circle of guys around me and ladies, right? Like Gigi. And, and stuff like that. I can holler at your boy, Barry. You know, uh, I got a, a, a cast of, of people like Sean and, 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 and stuff like that. So my boy, Scoop, they are, we talk and we discuss. We, we, we debate. We have a, a good time and we, we, we brainstorm on what's next. Because listen, man, this YouTube stuff is fun, man. We like doing it. Listen, this YouTube stuff is our business. This is what we do. Listen, y'all outside looking in, I want y'all to understand I am committed to giving y'all guys the best that I can provide. It takes time, effort, money, and all kinds of other things to get it done, but you know I will get it done. All right. I want to come here and I want to talk about some changes that I'm making. This is the last episode of the Tech Preacher podcast, that's going to be the video portion on the Tech Preacher channel. The older podcasts will be here. I won't remove those. I will not upload, as of right now, this is going to be the last upload to this YouTube channel. I will have all future, new, fresh uh, video portions of the Tech Preacher podcast on my main channel. Easy Computer Solutions, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Easy Computer Solutions. That is my bread and butter. That is my main channel. That is me. That is where my audience is at. That's where everybody at. And listen, thank y'all guys very much for supporting me. All right. Thank y'all guys. If you listen to this podcast, I hope you feel my passion. I hope you feel what I'm, what I'm saying to you. I want y'all guys to feel what I'm saying because, listen, on this journey, I make changes. I make mistakes. I clarify them. I listen to you guys. I want to do better. I will be better. All right. Let's get out of here. Ha! All right, guys. Thank y'all guys very much for this podcast, baby. Listen, man, if you want my podcast to be a little longer, just let me know. If you want the podcast to be a little shorter, let me know. I try to keep it at about 30 minutes. You know, to, you know because listen, if you if you want to, want me to go back to an hour, hour and a half long podcast, just let me know. But I mean, I like the 30 minutes. Sweet in, sweet out, get to the point. You in, you out. But I know in the vehicles, man, y'all, you know, some people like, man, I like the longer podcast, you know, or some people might say, well, easy, you know, I want to get you in. You listen to what you got to say and go to my next podcast. Listen, man, I appreciate that. Feedback is always good, man. Listen, I listen and I watch and I read everybody's comments. I'm passing it to my community. I love my community, baby. And you know what? I'm out of here, y'all. Oh, Thank y'all guys very much. I love that song. If y'all didn't know I love that song, by now, whoo, I'm going to tell you I like that song. That, that song get you hype, man. Get you cranked up. It gets you ready for some action, baby. And that's what I do here. The Tech Preacher's out, baby. Thank y'all guys very much. Later.